Well, good morning, guys. Um, today we've come to. Where's it got? Cooper, come on! Cooper! Oh. Bloody hell. Oh. Um, come to a, a woodland which is quite local to me and we've opened there's some lovely morning woodland photography now all i've got very very minimal gear i've got my osmo which i'm recording on now and i've got my sony with my um my sony lens on which I, to be honest with you it's only a i don't even know what mill it is i think it's is it 20 28 to 70 is it 2870. <laughs> Terrible that is. Um, sun's not long rose. So I'm heading down this one side hoping I might might be one of them mornings where we get some sun rays bursting through the trees. I love that type of photography. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. All handheld. No um no tripod, just camera on the strap and you guys um, and that's the plan I'm heading down here I photographed this in the spring there's, some, there's a lovely blue bell area down here now this wood is quite um, it's quite diverse in its trees know nothing about trees but it's got all these different pockets of different trees so it's quite a good wood to photograph and I don't know why I don't come here more often to be honest because um, I've got a local, more local wood by me. I tend to walk out the dog around there. Um, so we've come here for that different type of um, woodland. Hopefully I'm going to pick out something autumn, autumnal. Uh, like these leaves that are foul. The, the bracken. Let me just turn you around for the bracken. So we've got the bracken, fallen leaves, hopefully the odd gold coloured tree and images like that. Now as we walk through this, this part, quite small trees, don't know what type of tree they are. And then it opens out into um, a bigger woodland if you like. Now then, I think, because the sun's coming from this side, I think I'm going to try and walk down the side of this, the woodland here. Let's go this way. Come on, Coops. Um, Coops going crazy because it's a, a new woodland for him to, not newish for him to adventure in. So, so I'm looking for, I also want more intimate photos. And I think I could see one now, an image that's just these really old craggy trees. Um, and the sun's just poking through to the one side. Now, if I had my, my, um, my jocking up the ISO, but if I had, had my tripod, I'd definitely get the tripod out and I'd go something like F22, try and get that bit of a starburst in the sun. I'm not going to be able to do that, I don't think, but I'm going to have a damn good go. We'll see. I might be able to get the starburst and edit it into another image. But we are getting them beams of light and there's some craggy trees here, so I'm going to try and get an image. Now, obviously, I can't video you while I'm photographing because I haven't got a tripod to put you on. So, But let's see what we can get and then I'll show you the image.
look at the beautiful autumn colours. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see this guys, but we've got one real craggly tree here. And then this dark wooded background. But you've just got a, that little bit of ambient light catching the odd one or two branches and it looks superb. And that is, hopefully if I've caught it right, took the image right, I've lent up the tree. Oh, why didn't I bring my, my tripod? Um, I've lent up the tree and I'm hoping I've caught the image. Now, it looks stunning. I'm going to stop here and work it a little bit more, I think. Um, see if I can, because it's so dark the background, I'm going to try and drop the ISO, which means it'll be a, a lot um, longer exposure. But I'm going to have a try, put the ISO up down, and hopefully get one image that's going to be a decent one, because this is a nice, nice image. Looks really, really good. So let's try and get it. I'm going to lean up this tree here. Um, almost. The only problem I've got is I feel as if I want to be here. Just because it's more, a little bit more, probably even here actually. Because I've got a, I've got like a, a, a bush on the one side. Let me, uh, let me show you. Let's turn you around. We've got that bush there, and then we've got um, a bush here with the tree there. Now, it might not affect the image, but I'm going to try from here and see if I can get an image. I just work this because it's stunning. If the image works, it's going to be stunning. just go over this next image quick with you but what I've took is um, we've got the sun poking behind the trees there but what I like is how it's just lighting up this bit of bracken here um, and give it that little sort of into of autumn but with the sun coming up in the morning and uh, looking absolutely beautiful as if you want to be there and I'm going to take another photo because it's actually that beam of lights coming all the way down towards me now which draws your eye into it let's get another photo I can't believe how much I've enjoyed this uh, and one of the reasons why I've enjoyed it because I ain't got my bloody big backpack on um, carrying loads of gear and yes I probably did need a, a tripod to make the most of it but if I've got a couple of good images from here I'm going to be well happy um, and I'm not finished yet. We're only halfway. Just hold on a moment. Come back! Come back! Come on! That's right, we're getting near the, the road as you probably hear. Uh, and the light up here looks really nice. Because we've been down in the dip, so it's been quite dark with that sun coming through. So now we've come up 
and we've got real bright sunshine um, just it's in the path here actually which might make for a real nice image so I'll try this one might the dynamic range of it might be hard to actually photograph but let's see let's see if I can pull something out of here because it looks really nice um, I'll just flip you around and show you that that sort of the road is just beyond them trees there um, but no way am I finished yet no way let's try and get a cheeky image here be nice if the dog sat in that uh, that bit there might get it sitting because when he's breathing you can see his breath so let's see if we can get him in Where's my dog? Cooper! Oh, tell me what. Punch his face in. Right. Um, yeah, let's let's try. I'm not quite gov giving up yet. And the only reason why I'm going to give up is because the Sony battery is going to let me down, I think. So I've switched it off for now to try. So I've got a, a battery to get some more images. Um, but things are still looking rather rather nice so I'm still going to try and get something Dane just love the autumn colours they're absolutely stunning beautiful time of the year absolutely beautiful uh, see another image here and it's the the there's a tree just slightly angled and it's backlit really well by the sun um, so all the leaves on the tree are really glowing because of the backlit but the the bark of the tree is quite dark so I'm going to try and get an image of that see if it works might not but um, it looks nice so if I can get over towards it a little bit more Ooh. I should do um, maybe I'll get an image of it looks really nice to be honest one thing I have uh, realised walking around especially in this woodland the trees are quite tall and big and, and what have you sorry and uh, I really think this would suit uh, probably a long lens probably the 70 to 200 what I'm tending to be doing is going right into that that 70 mil and getting a lot closer into things and it's still not close enough um, so when I do come down here I'll bring me 2470 but I'll also definitely bring the long lens and I think it really would um, make a difference when you want that intimate shot we are out of we've had a battery now so um, it's struggling but or well, I've got a few shots left so I might just go walk back in before I go out I know that's the way out because the trees change and it goes to these small trees that are not so nice um, but let's not upset the trees I've got another shot here and it's in front of me and it's an old dead tree and behind it are just a couple of trees that are just again just backlit by that nice gorgeous autumn sun. Let's see if we can get that Okay guys, I think we've done for the day. Um, Still squeezing the odd image out of the Sony, even though the battery says it's absolutely dead flat and flashing. So we've come to another different part of the wood. 
um, but the light's coming a little bit flat now. So I think we may have all those images anyway. And I'm ready for some sausage sandwiches. So until next time guys, um, hope you've enjoyed this one, because I have uh, thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, it's sort of given me a bit of a boost, I think. Yeah. Okay guys, thanks for uh, thanks for coming with me on this journey. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, put it subscribe and uh, if you've enjoyed it anyway subscribe and I'll see you again very very soon hopefully. See you later.